Hello guys, good morning. We are here in St. Peter and Paul Church. St. Peter and Paul Church Catholic. Ayan po si St. Paul. St. Paul, si St. Paul. And St. John Paul. Ayan po. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, St. John Paul. Dit aket po tayo. Aket tayo dito kung ano makikita natin. Pilgrimage po kayo dito. Po kami dito guys. Pilgrimage po kami dito ngayon sa So, to make sure lang ba? Tama. Manigurado lang. Oo, kasi may mga pagkain tayo doon. Ayan po guys. And dito na po tayo sa loob na. Patungo na, patungo na po tayo doon sa loob ng church. Ayan. Kita po natin. Ayan po. Dito po tayo sa loob. Ayan po dito sa loob, guys. charge po para pupunta po ay pupunta po kami sa mga lugar dito sa church na 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 kanina pong i-present sa amin hmm.
So uh, before we Okay, so before uh, I'm going to introduce to you our, my congregation, and uh, we will start with a prayer. Uh, please all stand. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. We will pray the children's prayer to Mary. O Virgin Mary, help of Christian, we dedicate ourselves to your service. We concentrate our minds, our hearts, and bodies, and promise to work always for the glory of God and the salvation of men. Protect the young and help the aged. Save sinners and console the dying. You are our hope, Mary, Mother of Mercy, and Gate of Heaven. Pray to your Son for us, so that we may be filled with selfless charity and deep, and deep faith. As Jesus for these things, which we cannot obtain to our own action, and help us in this our present necessity, we may always see the will of the Father of our lives. We ask you this with spouse of the Holy Spirit, so that we may come to your Son in grace. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Saint Peter and Paul, pray, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so before, uh, again, before I will start the... Just to you, my congregation is I would like to uh, to tell you or to to do a short um, message about what is pilgrimage. Okay, so pilgrim pilgrimage is is um, we can say defined as a journey. No, this is our journey. We too uh, are having a journey in this earth. No, our life here in this world is a journey, especially a long one, made to some separate place as an act of religious devotion. So, our pilgrimage also here on earth, and this is like one way that we show to, uh, to the, our faith that we have uh, also a religious uh, uh, pilgrim also. Not only that we go uh, pilgrimage for relaxation or vacation, it's not that way. No, pilgrimage is a religious uh, uh, action. It is a devotion as to pay homage, a, pil a homage. A pilgrimage is not a time for rest nor relaxation. It is a contemplation of faith and prayer. No, we are not only like, like going there to walk and visit the church, but at the same time we contemplate, for example, here in St. Peter and Paul. What is the life of St. Peter and Paul? No? The central point of our faith is in the Incarnation. You know, it is important to have a physical as well as the spiritual component to this journey. So it's like, like when you do the pilgrimage, you feel tired. So then, if you feel tired, you do something like a sacrifice. So this sacrifice is also you offer for something. This something is, it could be your family, it could be your loved ones. It could be your intention. No? Do you offer that? So that's why pilgrimage it makes a prayer to experience as a person because you feel tired. Jesus feel tired also. No? So that's why we can say that it is the component of the body and soul. No? And bring it up into prayer. Pilgrimage is a time to connect deeply with God and participate in the sacraments. No? So it's good. 
could have given uh, have the plenary indulgence, indulgences when you do receive the sacrament and confession you know, for the pilgrimage. That's why we can say it touch the spiritual matters. Particip uh, pilgrimage is a time to connect deeply with God and participate in the sacraments in the very places where salvation history transpired and where God has touched the lives of sinners and transform, transform them into saints through prayer or pilgrimage. We will be closer to God. And we will and he will provide fruits for our journey. Continually draw strength from uh, draw strength in our life, you know, where we can get our strength is uh, uh, to receive the sacraments, to uh, to be in the state of grace is to the grace of the sacrament. You know? And that we can um, uh, get it also through the pilgrimage when we are uh, the state of grace and that at the same time we have to be in the state of grace and persevere in grace no? so that's why we can say that pilgrimage is also necessary in our life because it is connected to our spiritual soul so that's the end of my explanation of the about the pilgrimage and now i would like to introduce uh, my congregation okay so who we are why we are here no, our congregation is called the Institute of the Servants of the Lord in the Virgin of Matara. We are founded in Argentina no, by Father Miguel Guala that he recently passed away.